won't see my breath. I take my time. I let him come closer. I have only one bullet. I aim at his eye very gently. My finger presses on the trigger. Now, Vasily! Fire! Fire, Vasily! Fire! Autumn 1942. Europe lies crushed beneath the Nazi jackboot. The German Third Reich is at the height of its power. Hitler's armies are charging through the heart of the Soviet Union towards the oil fields of Asia. One last obstacle remains. A city on the Volga where the fate of the world is being decided. Stalingrad. Go! 
Listen to these letters sent by Russian mothers to their sons on the front. Melodia, my child, I know that it's for our motherland. I know that it's for our motherland that you are giving to your life.
surrender. You will see your home again. This is not your war. Join your German comrades. They understand your suffering and will care more for you than your own officers, who are only sending you to your death. The Third Reich is not your enemy. The enemy is bloodthirsty Stalin and his Bolsheviki gang, who have stolen your land. First, you should wait till there's an explosion. Did you notice you? A little.
political officer, second class, 21st infantry. <laughs> On this day, September the 20th, 1942, a young shepherd boy from the Urals. Arrived in the city of Stalingrad on the banks of the Volga. His name is Vasily Zaitsev. And like thousands before him, he came to answer Comrade Stalin's call. Armed only with a rifle, he quickly made the fascist invader realize that from now on, he would be punished for every step he took in the motherland. That from here on, the only way was back. What do you think? I think Comrade Commissar has been over generous. sent in all of my boys, but the Germans engulfed us. They have artillery, aircraft, tanks, and me, what did I have? The sacred duty to resist. I have to report to the boss. Perhaps you'd prefer to avoid the red tape. My name is Nikita Sergeyevich Khrushchev. I've come to take things in hand here. This city is not Kursk, nor is it Kiev, nor Minsk. This city is Stalingrad. Stalingrad! This city bears the name of the boss. It's more than a city, it's a symbol. If the Germans capture this city, the entire country will collapse. Now, I want our boys to raise their heads. I want them to act like they have balls. I want them to stop shitting their pants. That's your job. As political officers, I'm counting on you. You. What's your suggestion? Shoot all the other generals who have retreated. And their chiefs of staff, too. Make some examples. Deport the families of the deserters. Give them hope. Here, the men's only choice is between German bullets and ours. But there's another way. 
the way of courage, the way of love of the motherland. We must publish the army newspaper again. We must tell magnificent stories, stories that exalt sacrifice, bravery. We must make them believe in a victory. We must give them hope, pride, a desire to fight. Yes, we need to make examples, but examples to follow. What we need are heroes. Do you know any heroes around here? Yes, comrade. I know one. That's me. Vasily Zaitsev. Me? No! You're not dreaming! It's your name! We made the front page! I haven't changed the word! Do you have any idea what this means? It's not the back page. It's not the second page. It's the front page. The front, front page. page. They're going to reprint our article everywhere, in the Caucasus, in the Crimea, even in the Urals. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, Stalin himself will be sitting over breakfast, reading my words, memorizing your name. Your famous Vasily. Khrushchev loved the article. He's promoted me to the general staff. And you, to sniper division. Well, that's good. It's very good. It's very good. It's great. It's very it's great. Good. It's great. It's great. It's, it's great. great. It's for both of us because we did it together. <laughs> together. Although, admittedly, I did all the hard work. Oh, yeah. You know, you're very lucky I can't fight back. Why is that? Because Khrushchev told me to make sure nothing happens to you. You're too important. I'm too valuable. Yes. Careful of my, careful of my glasses, please. They're new. Sorry, sir. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm famous. I'm famous. Yes. We're famous. I'm famous. We're famous. Vasily, the young shepherd from the Urals, killed his 12th German officer he today. Wolves. Now he shoots. Today, Vasily Zaitsev shot his 23rd colonel German shot by... He is an example to us Today, all. Today, Zaitsev killed his 32nd he German officer. He has the patience of a hunter. He has the patience of a person. He is 46th German officer. All of the Germans you have killed. Today, Vasily Zaitsev killed his... Eleven dog tags retrieved by sniper Vasily Zaitsev. More and more men and women, fighters from all branches of our armed forces, volunteer to join the sniper division and learn the skills of Vasily Zaitsev. I am a stone. I am a stone. I breathe slowly. Vasily Saitsev. My mother makes the best potatoes and bacon in town. Sounds good. When she sees you, she won't believe her eyes. How many today? Only two. And the last one? Why didn't you shoot him? He was only a foot soldier. It wasn't worth giving away my position. Bless you. We know how much we owe you. We pray for you every day. Every evening we listen to them talk about you on Radio Moscow. Thanks. You've certainly managed well down here. My parents used to store furniture down here before the war. Sasha, drop that right now. It's loaded. Wait, Comrade Commissar. Thank you, Comrade. Good evening. Comrade Zaitsev. <laughs> My God, where does all this mail come from? 
From all over the country, Mrs. Filipov. From all over. This one's from the workers of the Kuzbas. They want to name their mine after Vasily. Right, let's start with the miners. Come on, let's get to work. Dear comrades from the Kuzbas. Kuzbas. I thank you for your letter of praise. Praise. R-A-I-S-E. And I hope that I can live up to your expectations. A-T-I-O-N-S. Expectations. You're interested in German literature, Mrs. Philippe. It's all right, it's our neighbor. Right, where were we? Can you? Expectations. We have guests. Your offer to name. Recognize you. It's for silly Zaitsev. I, I saw your picture in the paper. Thank you for everything you're doing. And this is his friend, Commissar Danilov. Danilov. Tanya's like a daughter to me. She used to take care of Sasha when I worked at the factory. She even taught him German. All these books are hers. Oh, they're yours. She studied German at the university. Which university? Moscow. 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 Shouldn't we, uh... Yes, let's continue. Your offer to name your mind after me is a great honor. H O N. Yes, I know. Mm. Honor. Oh, very good. Shouldn't we, uh, should we try and make the point that I'm not the only one fighting? Mm. Mm, no, that, that, that's, that's excellent. Excellent idea, Vasily. Yeah, excellent. We can take it even further, though. Oh, yeah, we can take it further. Your battle for the production of coal is as worthy as mine. There's uh, no K in coal. Just, just, just one L. That's it. Oh, tell me if I'm going too fast. <laughs> no, you're not going you sure? too fast. I, I just thought, is there any other improvements? Why don't you get some rest? These letters can wait until tomorrow. We should carry on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not tired. Thank you, Mrs. Philippov. These people took the trouble to write to us. Tomorrow, we may not be around to write back. Major König, Herr General. Wir uns ziehen sich ins Stadtzentrum zurück. Wir haben einige Überlautermeldungen, denen wird allmählich auch der Nachschub knapp. Der Panzer kommen wir nicht weiter. Und das ist die Nähe ein. Das 162. und das 189. Das ist im Anlass. Die müssen allein. Und der zweite. I was expecting someone. Else. Certainly not someone so prestigious. 
I imagine you have your reasons for getting yourself involved in this hellish situation. My army is not designed for this kind of fighting. Yesterday, yet again, I had to promote 25 sergeants to replace the officers shot down by the sharpshooters. Those snipers are demoralizing my people. This city is no more than a heap of ruins. But the Fuhrer is persisting. He has made it a personal matter between Stalin and himself. Well, we should trust the Fuhrer's instinct. He always managed to lead us to victory. We shall be back home for Christmas. How are you going to go about finding this young Russian? I'll fix it so that he's the one who finds me. Vasily. Vasily. Come on. Time to get up. What? They have a problem in the department store sector. They need us. Come on. Look, Vasily. He's hiding in the department store. Over there. So far this morning, he's knocked off five officers, plus two machine gunners. Look, third floor, fourth window from the left. Fourth window from the left. See him? Get his dog tag. Goodbye, Comrade Commissar. Thank you for your hospitality, Mrs. Filipov. You can borrow whatever you like. I'm not sure what they would say to me at headquarters if I came back with an armful of Goethe and Schiller. There's some marks, too. You were assigned to civil defense of the 12th district? No, I volunteered. It's such a coincidence meeting you like this. Comrade Khrushchev was telling me just yesterday how desperately we're in need of operators who speak German. I can't. Our militia's responsible for all the people in this neighborhood. We're already desperately short of men. We can take care of that. We'll give you a dozen soldiers for everyone that speaks German. I'd rather stay and fight. Serving a headquarters is fighting. You'll be far more useful there. You stay here. You cover us. Right. We go. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Look, Miller. Come on.
move back. What does this mean? The little shepherd from the Urals receives a new sniper's rifle, a Moisen against 7.62, this 3.5 power PU telescope, pride of precision of Soviet production. I've seen that rifle close up. Have you? I even touched it. I know him well for silly sights, Sev. Someone killed today. And it was my fault. No, I'm sure that's not true. It was a German sniper. I walked them right into his trap. What else can you tell me? He didn't relocate. A sniper who doesn't relocate isn't normal. He was very good. It wasn't just his shooting, it was his instinct. He was a step ahead of me all the time. That's because he knows everything about you. His name is Koenig, Major Koenig. They've sent him here to kill you. To find you. Uh, 
At first, we weren't sure if the information was reliable. It seems he's come all the way from Berlin to stop you. You've caused them so many sleepless nights, they sent their top marksmen after you. So what do we know about him? He's a major in the Wehrmacht. He's director of the sniper school in Zossen. Kulikov studied under him at Zossen before the war. He knows all his tricks. From now on, he'll go with you everywhere. A nobleman from Bavaria who runs deer against a shepherd boy from the Urals who poaches wolves. <laughs> it's more than a confrontation between two nations. It's the essence of class struggle. I'm glad you're so happy. He had all the advantages. Next time you'll be even. Mm. No one shoots like you, Vasily. Mm. been transferred. I'll see if they're ready for you next door. Hello. You look very smart in your new uniform. <laughs> Make sure they don't take it back once you've finished. Yeah. They probably will. I've heard the rumor about the German, and I wanted to wish you luck. Thank you. I'll need it. From what Conrad Danilov tells me, you're going to win. Mm. It's time. Vasily! Vasily! Come to my house! Look at my dress here! Here, Vasily! <laughs> Put your cap back on, you look more heroic. This way, Comrade Zaitsev. I love this little fellow. Vasily, is it true that you volunteered for the front? Vasily, Vasily. How old are you, Vasily? You know what this duel means for our country? Is it true you killed your first wolf when you were five? Vasily, tell us, how many fascists have you killed Frank today? i challenged by the best sharpshooter in Germany. It's a sign the Germans are starting to shit their pants. Go on, my boy. Tell us how you're going to deal with him. Uh, All right, enough. One more question, no. please. Tell it to the boss. He likes good hunting stories. Look at him with pride. Because he's looking at you. The whole country is looking at you. So it's not the wolf that chooses the hunting ground, but the hunter. And I'm sure your grandfather taught you that. Except, in this case, I'm the game. However, today what we're going to do is lure the wolf out of his lair to where we want him to be. You're the one whose life is valuable. You go first. No, no. We take it in turns. Next time it's your turn to go first. 
And then it's you, Volodya. These are new pants. I just took them off a captain from the 251st yesterday. Sixteen months I spent in Germany, at the school in Zossen. Of course, those were the days when we were friends with the Krauts. When our Joseph and their Adolf were walking hand in hand. From here to the wire, 160 meters, right? Hundred and fifty-five. Whatever. I don't make them send out a repair guy. Let's relocate. Ah! Germans invaded us. It wasn't the same atmosphere anymore. Huh. Threw my ass in prison. What were you doing in Germany, huh? Excuse me, says I, but it was Comrade Stalin who sent me there. Don't bring our glorious leader into your treachery. Confess, spy bastard, confess! And bang! There wasn't a sickle, but there was a hammer. And bang. Knocked out all my teeth. That's right, boy. Have no illusions. That's the land of socialism and universal bliss for you. Hey, it's your repair guy. I got him. It's about soup time, isn't it? I'm going. Well, get a move on, Volodya. And try not to spill it all on your way back, you Marxist bastard! Is the enemy sniper activity reported during the past 24 hours a major event? Two sentries shot in the train station sector, one artillery observer in the northern sector, one lieutenant from the 24th Panzer Division in the factory sector, three telephone repairmen in the workers' housing sector. They also tell me, we have just taken a prisoner who may interest you. I hope he's still able to speak. Excuse me, sir? Nothing. Thank you. 